Hello, 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 guys. Here is Dr. Kubayol again talking about different topics of science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hms.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Kubayol which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. The article to review today is the effects of heat on older adults. When heat intensifies older adults, we can, but they don't have to. The news in summer 2021 was almost as oppressive as the heat itself. Boston Street threw its hottest June on record. Little British Columbia reached an up here of 121 degrees Fahrenheit at the Pacific Northwest Bay under the heat dome. Another dome in August safely the Mediterranean. As record top leaves were lost, early investigations suggest that nearly 1,000 people dead are the direct results of the Pacific Northwest heat wave. Most of them were older adults. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University Medical School, remember guys that we mostly days we do these beautiful reviews to get acknowledged and to let everybody know around the world about Harvard articles. Alright, we continue. In Oregon's Multnomah County, which includes Portland, the average age among those who rights was 70. People over 65 account for three quarters of Washington death. This proportion, which echoed the casualty following extreme heat events around the world in recent years, retired that older people are among those most vulnerable to falling ill and dying when the mercury rises. More than 80% of the estimated 12,000 people in the United States who die of heat relief causes annually are over age of 60, according to the journalist resource Climate Central, as air gets hotter and human population is get older. Heat relief fatalities among older adults are expected to grow. Climate change drives more frequent, more intense and longer heat wave. It drives nighttime loss, preventing body temperature from resetting when the sun sinks. Even short of heat wave, the volatility that climate change provokes in day to day highs can truncate the life of older people with certain health conditions. Researchers at the Harvard Khan School of Public Health wrote in 2012 a study in PNAS. Clinicians can help a survive published in the Annals of Global Health in 2015 indicate that primary care physicians are United States adults, most trusted source of information related to climate change and health. The medical talk grows as research continues to reveal the biological and social factors that make older adults more susceptible to heat and identifies the more effective interventions. Studies show that it can be hard or even healthy older adults to tell when it's too hard or if they are dehydrated. Cognitive decline exacerbates these problems. Older bodies also hold more heat than younger ones when the temperature climbs, glands don't release as much heat. The heart doesn't circulate blood as well as less heat is released from vessels in the skin, systems from the cardiovascular to the immune struggle to compensate. (music) 
older adults are likely to have chronic health conditions and to have medications that contribute to heat intolerance. Clinicians best serve patients when they stay at risk of the literature on risk factors and when heat looms in the forecast. Consider warning checking in with or adjusting relieving medication of the vulnerables. Say Francesca Dominic, the clearance James Campbell Professor of Biostatistics, Population and Data Science at the Harvard Chan School. So many heat relief hospitalizations and death are preventable, she says. While doctors have known about many risk factors for decades, others are emerging by applying statistical expertise to vast healthcare and meteorological data sets. Dominic and colleagues have uncovered previously an appreciated condition that rise older people like likelihood of being hospitalized during and immediately after heat wave. This finding fair report in JMA in 2014 includes fluids and electrolyte disorder and during drug infections. Data science is giving us an enormous ability to disintegrate the major causes of our hospitalization and say really deal that it was the heat that made someone sick, Dominic said. What continuous excessive heat goes beyond the National Weather Service definition of a heat wave, according to findings from research, including John Spengler, the Akira Yamaguchi Professor of Environmental Health and Human Habitation at Harvard Chan School. We are seeking problems with hydration, sleep, and cognitive decline at 85 degrees and lower. He said it makes us rethink that real heat stress it about. Dominic and others point the temperature don't have to hit 90 or 100 degrees to be dangerous. They only have to rise beyond a regional normal range. Acclimatization matters, heat tends to cause more death at the start of the summer than at the end. More death occur when heat strikes areas unaccustomed to it. Finally, age intersects with socioeconomic factors to compound heat vulnerability. Older adults who are poor who identify as black or Hispanic or who live in cities are more likely to become sick or die from excessive heat. Poorer neighborhoods tend to have fewer shade trees and reach a boil faster than wealthier environments. Having air conditioning at home isn't enough if a patient can afford to run it. The Arizona County that includes Phoenix report that of those who die indoors of heat relief causes in 2019, fully 91% have air conditioners, but the units were turned off to too low or broken. Older adults with mobility issues or who lack social networks are less able to access resources such as a cooling center to have people check off them. Science and medicine have made tremendous progress in understanding how our warming climate treating humans' bodies, say Dominic. Now it depends on everyone, including clinicians, to act quickly enough to avoid the worst. Alright guys, this has been this beautiful article talking about the heat, how the heat can make people sick or dead. Alright, so remember the title is The Efforts of Health Older Adults. This article is posted at the magazine of Harvard Medical School and has been wrote by Andrew Dashen. He is a manager of feature content and multimedia in the Harvard Medical School Office of Communications and External Relations. Alright guys, see you next time. Bye bye.